What's a video game you enjoyed that most people disliked? Mystery of Stuff Kingdoms of Amalur Love the art style and combat, the ease of switching classes is great too. Was pleasantly surprised when I heard Alana Pierce reference at some FH episodes. Fun game. Haven't seen it here so I'll say Borderlands, the pre-sequel. A lot of people were expecting it to be Borderlands 3, which is also a good game. It's short and doesn't have a lot of endgame content, but I find the space mechanics and laser guns cool. Anyone remember True Crime, Streets of LA? It seemed like a very love or hate game and I absolutely loved it. I liked how the story would branch out depending on what you did in certain missions. The martial arts were fun too. I remember the gun combat feeling kind of flat though. You have the right to soak in your own urine. Yeah the gunplay was a little arcadey and all I really appreciated was blowing away a fleeing suspect in slow motion. Good fights though. Check out Sleeping Dogs if you like that. I was obsessed with that game when I was younger. Now I feel like it was a fever dream. Was Christopher Walken in that game? Or was that a dream? Was there a disturbing horror film asylum section in that game or am I crazy? Could I kill Abraham Lincoln by tossing him into an industrial fan? What a fucking game. Mercenaries 2 for PS3. I loved that game, played through at 3x. Terrible online reviews, and if you didn't update the game would freeze forever. I think that one reason why it got flack was that it had such a weird tone departure from the original game. Like it's a weird thing to get hung up on, but the color palette switching like it did from drab and dreary to bright and colorful was. Jarring. And it's more light-hearted and silly. But the gameplay wasn't bad at all. I think a lot of people wanted something similar to Mercenaries 1, but a bit more refined in how it plays. Quality of life improvements like checkpoints, that fucking final mission was so long, a more fleshed out story, and just a general sandbox feel. And to that end Mercenaries 2 delivered. Rugrats, Search for Reptar was a genuinely fun, well-made game and I'd play it again today if I could. Not sure if it's really hated, but Star Fox Adventures could be considered the black sheep of its series. Is it a good Star Fox game? No, since you're almost never in the Aring. But damn is it a good furry Zelda clone. Still one of my favorite games all these years later, there's just something super charming about it. Dynasty Warriors. People give me shit all the time for liking DW like you just mash one button. I guess if you went it thinking it was gonna be Tekken I could see how you might be disappointed, but if you go and expecting Double Dragon it's great. It's cheesy and campy, and the 1 vs 100 gameplay is super fun. I still think about Lu Bu as one of the scariest boss fights from my childhood. Not necessarily toughest, but scariest, because when that man was on the screen, your life could be ending very soon. And sometimes you try to flee and look back over your shoulder just to see him relentlessly pursuing. I probably set a heart rate record for my young life up until that point. Shadow the Hedgehog don't get me wrong that game has issues, but overall I still had fun with it and would love to see a sequel that learns from the mistakes of the first game. I was an edgy kid when the game came out and I was absolutely the target audience. I didn't like a lot of aspects of the gameplay, unfairly tossing you into pits, levels a bit of a mess, poor balancing, etc., but man did I love the aesthetic and story. People say that stuff is cringy. Absolutely is. But let kids enjoy their cringe in peace, we all loved one stupid thing or another when we were young. I agree that a sequel with some fixing up would be legitimately good. Spore. Granted I wasn't aware of the game till after it released, so I didn't know about all the hype and high expectations other people had. It has its issues, but it's still quite fun and sunk many hours into it. I loved the first two stages and had varying levels of enjoyment of the rest, but was disappointed by a lot of things. I was disappointed that it feels like you just stop evolving so early on. 
I was disappointed about how short and shallow the tribe and city stages were, like you were being rushed onto space. I was disappointed with how it was like the game was actively trying to prevent you from having fun in space by interrupting you every 10 seconds with some hazard or attack busywork that needed to be taken care of. It was a game with a lot of potential, but it just didn't come together right. Hitman Absolution I thought 47 was still badass as usual and entitled to feel some emotions. After all the years working with the ICA, it would make sense to develop emotions over time. Yet the environment was a little different than the others, but I still thought it to be creative and well-written. Paperboy 64 It's too obscure for most gamers to be widely disliked, but critically it's panned across the board as a bad game. Regardless, I love its absurdity and being able to pelt everything in sight with a newspaper like a maniac. Zelda 2: The Adventures of Link Back when it came out, it wasn't unusual for game sequels to wildly shift genres. I loved the combat of the second game so much more than the first, and the music was amazing. I wish they made more games in its style instead. Bioshock 2 I know people don't consider the story to be as impactful as the first one, but the gameplay is way more polished. Also, I get to use a fucking drill as a weapon. That is sweet. I'm with you. Just replayed them both again as part of the remastered collection, and 2 has so many quality of life changes over the first one and the story is still good. Especially if you include Minerva's Den, which I think may have been my favorite part of the series. Dragon Age 2, it being usually considered the black sheep of the franchise. It had its faults, namely the rather heavily reused environments, but I really liked it. Both character, story-wise and general gameplay.